Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Anything to do with the Dark Heart should be avoided. It's too risky. Anything to do with Salazar Slytherin is worth the risk. I can't agree. And I'll not say a word more. I'm sorry. I won't give up. What were you and Ominous speaking about? He's being ridiculous. Apparently Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here in Hogwarts. Ominous swears it was used for the Dark Arts, so he wants nothing to do with it. I reminded him that Anne needs a cure. This scriptorium could hold the answers we need. The Dark Arts do pique my interest. There's more to dark magic than people realize. The Gaunts know this better than most. Perhaps I've spoken out of turn. Ominous's family history is personal to him. I'd like to know more about it, if you wouldn't mind telling me. I won't repeat it. Very well. But do keep this between us. Ominous learned dark magic from his parents. Are you familiar with the Cruciatus Curse? Crucio, correct? The Cruciatus Curse, also known as the Torture Curse, inflicts excruciating pain on the victim. Apparently. His parents and older siblings had no qualms about casting us on muggles for sport. Ominous described the sound of the victim's cries as horrific, so the first time he was asked to cast it himself as a child, he couldn't bring himself to do it. As punishment, his family cast it on him. The anguish was so bad that when asked to cast it again, he relented. I have repeatedly assured Ominous that he did what he had to, but he still hasn't forgiven himself. How horrible. Poor Ominous, he was only a child. He shouldn't blame himself. After that incident, the rift between Ominous and his family only grew. That is until I came along. Every moment he isn't at Hogwarts, he's with us in Feldcroft. Ominous trusts me. And more often than not, he winds up listening to me. I'll remind him of that when I follow up about the scriptorium. Watch for my owl. I'll have news soon enough. I'll make Ominous understand. He'll change his mind. Off on another adventure, are we? Revelio. Over here, quietly. I am glad that you received my owl. We need to stay low and remain quiet. Daddy, what's going on? Why are we all the way out here? As promised, I did some investigating to find out what Harlow is up to. I followed him to the hog's head. I noticed him reading a letter. All I could see was that it was signed by and bore the seal of Victor Rookwood. And after you told me that Rookwood and Harlow were after you, I decided that you were the perfect person to join me in taking them down, for good. That letter is the tangible proof that Officer Singer needs. It is why I followed Harlow here and why I wrote to you. I need your help to retrieve it. I'll help you find the letter, Natty. I'm glad to hear it. First, we must access the castle keep. I'll check the main gate, see if you can find another way in. I do not see any guards, but we should still try to be as quiet as possible. Hollow is here after all. Hmm, 
Jesus. That did it. Revenia. I need to find a way into the gatehouse to open the gate for Natty. Dead end. Must be another way in. as if it might raise the gate. that we do not study apparition until our sixth year. We could get past this gate instantly. Guardian 
Leviosa. Be right up. I knew you could do it. This way, I will get the door. <laughs> that is the main keep. My guess is that we'll find Hallow and the letter inside. We'll need to be careful once we get. <gasps> I hear them. <laughs> Highwing. Do you know that hippogriff? Get this thing back now. Very well. New plan. I get the evidence and you free that hippogriff. Agreed? This is our chance. Go! It. Oh, there's got to be a, another way to get up to the roof. Somewhere. Thinking he's to it out. I hope Natty stays out of trouble. Revelia. The safest place to sneak into. Rebellion. Teach someone a lesson!
Alohomora. Natty's having an easier time of it. Going home in a wooden box. You will pay for that. I can't. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. It's all right. There we go.
the Hogwarts Express. Must be returning from an unscheduled run. How exciting. <laughs> oh, it was exhilarating, wasn't it? I wasn't sure we were going to make it out alive. <laughs> there was no need to worry. I had it all under control. Were you able to find the letter? Summoned it straight out of Harlow's hands. <laughs> I will say, I did not expect to see him cast the killing curse at us. He won't forget this. Be on your guard. Of course. What did the letter say? That Rookwood's looking for a phoenix. <laughs> Not sure where he will find one. But it also included Harlow's orders to inspect that castle for the poachers. Enough to connect Harlow to the crimes. I shall deliver the letter to Officer Singer. She'll have to do something when she sees it. Now, tell me, where did you meet these hippogriffs? I've only met Highwing before. Poppy introduced us. Poppy Sweeting knows a hippogriff. <laughs> of course she does. Poppy will be relieved to know that Highwing's safe. I came to the right person for help. My mother will be worried. I must go. Seek me out soon. I shall have much to tell you. When you have a moment, please stop by the Room of Requirement. Deke tells me he has something to share with you.
Are you all right? Look like you've seen a ghost. High wing, go! I'm actually rather good at it. Used to play all the time with my brother, until... Oh, never mind. Shall we begin? Yes, I'm ready to play. Then let's get summoning. Akia! Better than that. Yes! <laughs> that was sensational. Akio. What was I thinking? <sighs> How am I to top that? A draw? That simply won't do. A rematch then. Good match. Care to have another go? But of course. Splendid. Akio! What was I thinking? <sighs> How am I to top that? Akio! After your poor show against Natty in class, I thought I could beat you. Appears I overestimated myself. Don't say that, Samantha. You're a fine player. Well, that's very kind of you. Let's just say if I'm good, then you're better. I happen to know who you're up against next, and she's no shy opponent. Best of luck.
It's not even magic. And your reading is the dragon. That's exciting, I suppose. Perhaps you're due for an adventure. Ladies. Professor Shah. Astronomy is not divination. You won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups. Alas, the heavens remain hazy to the starry eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight we will be on the observation deck. Still don't have your own? You can't be the new student forever, you know. You can share with Mr. Takar. Here, I can adjust that for no, you. No, no, bring it into focus on your own. Now, I expect all of you to put in your stargazing hours outside of class. Is that clear? But, Professor, it's freezing out. Mere cold didn't stop the great stargazers of the past. Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from which they gazed millennia ago on the very selfsame stars above us. Is that clear? <sighs> Dismissed. Hello. I don't believe we've met officially. I'm Amit. I'm something of an astronomy buff. Hello, Amit. It's nice to meet you. Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of term. That's very kind of you, Amit. Are you sure you won't need it? I'm certain. It's my old one. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia Contemplor. You've heard of it, I assume? I mean, of course you have. It's only the pinnacle of all personal stargazing implements. But my old model's not too shabby either. Goblin cut glass, first-rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, uh, I... thank you, Amit. Think nothing of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. I have some, uh... Reading to finish on the lower deck. Come find me there afterwards and bring the telescope. There's something I want to talk to you about. I tried to put off my stargazing as long as I could. I'm good that bit. This was his old telescope. Looks practically brand new. A pristine night for stargazing. Do not let it be wasted. The perfect night for... Oh. I have the telescope. It's nicer than I had expected. I would not offer a prospective stargazer a third-rate lunoscope. <laughs> but there is, um, something else. Yes? What is it? You remember those astronomy tables Shaw was going on about? It just so happens I've been reading up on them a little myself. And it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. And you need someone to help you find it. I do. Are you in? No one from the Gobstones Club will go with me. Said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than... Well, they are cowards. Let us get moving while the stars are still out. I'll show you how to use that telescope once we get there. I promise. All right. I suppose I can go with you. 
I hope it's worth it. It will be. Trust me, I have read practically everything there is to read about this. It should be brilliant. Shall we? The table is on a castle wall ahead. Look for a stone platform, something that doesn't quite belong. We'll know it when we see it. Onwards we go, then. Some say the locations of the tables were originally marked by centaurs for ritual stargazing. Huh. It is nice having a fellow stargazer to explore with. Happy to be here. It is good to leave the classroom now and then. It's not that creepy out here at night, is it? The Gobstones Club are cowards. Here I am, charging ahead. Uh, why don't you lead the way? If you're sure. Hmm, a little foreboding. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Oh, of course. It's just not as... Tidy, as I expected. More cobwebs. You don't think any spiders might be lurking about? Oh, Look, no. There's Not a table. close to the school, Emmett. I think you should do the honors. Go on, try it out. <sighs> The constellation should appear near the center of your view. As soon as you've lined up the telescope, we will be able to fill out our star chart. was right about the tables. They really are gateways to the far stars, just as the book said. And your contribution was invaluable. Rest assured, you shall be credited in my memoirs one day. Thank you, Emmett. I look forward to reading them. And I look forward to writing them. <laughs> this is only the beginning. You will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest all beckoning to be discovered by a worthy astronomer. And if I have ever seen one, it's you. Oh, and about my old telescope. Don't bother returning it. You should keep it. That's quite generous. Thank you. You are welcome. It has goblin-cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription. I'm practically fluent in gobbledygook, you know. It's all in the throat, really, gobbledygook, you know, and, and how you pronounce your R's. Ahem. Anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon. Ah, <sighs> never do get tired of seeing the astronomy tower at night. What a view. I have learned of a wizard who is being harassed by Halo. He may be able to provide the evidence we need to take Halo down. We should speak with him together. Meet me at his home. I assume you have news regarding the goblin you mentioned. Why don't we meet at the map chamber to discuss that and our next steps?
Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. Won't get the best of me. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. came by here looking for Mr. Bickle. ominous regarding Salazar Slytherin's scriptorium, but my efforts were in vain. Meet me outside the Slytherin common room. We need to talk. <laughs> How nice to see you, my young friend. You are here. Good. Is this Mr. Bickle's home? I believe so. He supposedly has evidence against Harlow. We need to speak with him. Are you all right? We're looking for Mr. Bickle. My husband is dead. He killed him. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Mrs. Bickle. Who killed your husband? Theophilus Harlow. I'm sure of it. He's been threatening my husband for weeks and... Oh, where is my son? Where is Archie? He must be around here somewhere. When did you last see him? Archie was home with his father while I was out. His satchel's missing. Hopefully he's just gone wandering, as he's prone to do. I hope he wasn't here when Harlow... when my husband... Do you know which way Archie might have gone? <laughs> um, 
He has a little hideout in the forest south of here. He never wanders far. But if he witnessed Harlow doing something to his father, uh, I'm afraid to leave in case he comes back home. We'll find your son, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. <laughs> what am I going to do? <laughs> Please do not worry, Mrs. Bicavelia. We will bring Achi home. Where could I be gone? When I took the letter we found to Officer Singer, she told me about Mr. Bickel. He had been doing the same thing we are, providing Officer Singer with evidence to take down Harlow. I had hoped to speak with him about what he had found, but we were too late. What did Officer Singer say about the letter you brought her? She thanked me, but she clearly felt that it was not enough. It is a shame that hippogriffs cannot speak. Your friend Highwing could provide all the evidence against Halo that we need. We will need something more. Revelio. This must be little Archie's hideout that Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Archie? Archie Bickle! He would not have done this to his own hideout. Someone came here looking for him. Revelio may be our only hope of finding out which way he went. There! Archie's footprints! He went this way! I thought we would have found Archie by now. I suspect he'll keep running if he's being followed. If it is Harlow that's pursuing him, I only hope you're right. Men like Harlow would not think twice about Revelio. killing a child. We must find Archie quickly. Wolves! Prepare for a fight. We should look around. Archie's satchel! Why would he leave it behind? He was likely running from Harlow, distracted. This may be a good time for Revelio again. Archie went this way. I have a bad feeling about this. Harlow must have a reason for pursuing Archie. I wonder what Archie saw. I hope he didn't see Harlow kill his father. He would never overcome it. At least not in any way I can imagine. A fork in the road. We will need Revelio again. Multiple sets of footprints. Oh, Harlow caught up to him here. This is not good. They went this way. Thestrals. They are beautiful, are they not? You can see Thestrals too. I witnessed death when I was nine, 
saw my first test shell shortly thereafter. I found comfort in it. I still do. I think those of us who have witnessed death deserve some comfort. I'm sorry you experienced something like that at so young an age. I was with my father when he died. My mother was away and I felt quite helpless. It was a long time ago in some ways, but in other ways, it seems like it was only yesterday. I still see him so clearly. You must miss him. My father was a wonderful man. I... <clears throat> Let us keep moving. We must find Archie. Revelio. Children now, are we? Better not be expected to feed him. It's as I feel. can be no. That's an incendiary. Patrick, That was a mistake. They deserved. I did not expect this tent to be so large on the inside. That complicates things a little. Rebellion. Ah. You don't think he saw it happen, do you? Of course he did. He's just a child. We should release him. This is the sort of thing that could draw unwanted attention. Harlow will decide what to do with it oh, once he gets back. Uh. 
They got what they deserved. open. Now, let's get you home. We know a safe way back. Darling. Mr. and Mrs. Ray. Mr. Filbert. And I think they also said Otto's name. Oh. I shall speak with them. You run inside. Yes, Mother. Your husband's friends may be in danger. Just as he was. How can we help? You've done enough. My husband was a powerful wizard and couldn't defeat Harlow. The last thing we need is that monster coming after you. It may be too late for that. I'm afraid Harlow's already after us. Then you needn't anger him further. I assure you, the threat could be a lot worse. Please, please keep your distance. I'm sorry again about your husband, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. And thank you for bringing Archie home. I can never repay the two of you for your kindness. Not to worry, Mrs. Bickel. My father used to say that rain does not fall on one roof alone. We are here to help each other. I must learn more about Mr. Bickel's friends and why Harlow is after them. You'll be hearing from me as soon as I know something. Thank you for your help today. 
handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Lumos. Lumos. Not judge a steed by its size, for size is not. By Merlin, I will no sooner tolerate indolence than insolence. Neither makes for a night.
Velio. Convenient travel was before I invented flu power. You're here. Brilliant. I received your owl. What happened with Ominous? I told him none of us will be able to avoid dark magic forever. So the more we know about Salazar Slytherin and the Dark Arts, the better prepared we'll be. Unfortunately, only a Gaunt knows the location of the Scriptorium's entrance, and Ominous won't tell me. Hmm. Perhaps I should have a chat with Ominous. You? I suppose it's worth a try. But don't get your hopes up. Ominous is annoyingly stubborn. Nothing new. I know where he is. I'll lead you to him and then leave you to it. Come on. He's this way. Keep an eye out. Never know who's watching. Although that hasn't stopped us before. Strictly speaking, it has. We were caught. Damned poltergeist. Such a nuisance. <laughs> Lumos. There he is. Good luck. Lumos. Rebellion. Lumos. What are you doing here? Hello, Ominous. Do you have a moment? What is it? What have you and Sebastian been up to now? Please, Ominous. I confided in you before about what happened with the Undercroft. Sebastian simply wanted me to have a safe place to practice some spells, to try and catch up to the other fifth years. He didn't think you'd mind. <sighs> I suppose that makes sense. It's just Sebastian's been pestering me lately about something and I'm frustrated with him. Don't tell me he's still going on about... What was it? A scriptorium? He told you about that. He did. We were talking about Hogwarts founders and he mentioned it. Wouldn't say much more, though. Yes, well, he seems to think it contains the answer to saving Anne. I think it's likely full of dark magic that is better left untouched. Wait, you've never been inside? Of course not. I only know about it because of my favorite aunt, Noctua. She thought like I do. Didn't agree with the family on the use of dark magic. In fact, she'd hoped to convince my family that there was more to Salazar Slytherin than worshipping pureblood status. 
She'd heard of this scriptorium and thought its contents might shed some light on him. She even found the secret entrance in this very corridor. She wrote regularly to my father about her efforts to gain access, and then she simply vanished. No one else ever tried to enter. I'm sorry about your aunt. Don't you want to find out what happened to her? Aunt Noctua went down this path with good intentions and lost her life. I don't want the same to happen again. You don't know that history will repeat itself. Besides, you said your aunt thought like you. This could honor her memory, get you answers about Slytherin and Sebastian answers for Anne. Your aunt pursued this alone. We could do it together. Hmm. I see what you've done here. And I confess, you've convinced me. I didn't think it possible. Very well. I shall tell you what I know. Fetch Sebastian, I'll wait. I hope I... We don't regret this. Sebastian, over here! These braziers grant access to the scriptorium. Now you'll share? You wouldn't tell me when I practically begged. It wasn't you who told me what I needed to hear. Opening the entrance has something to do with threes. Well, three heads are better than one. It's two heads are better than one. And by that logic, three is better than two. Simple mathematics, Ominous. Revelio. Remember, three braziers are involved. <laughs> Someone was actually listening. I do that. Occasionally. That brazier went out on its own. I wonder if it's a clue. Lumos. Ready for this. Dark, ominous corridors. My favorite. Lumos. No comment. Come on, that was a good one. Looks like a locked door. We may want to look around. A journal entry. Signed by Noctua Gaunt. Gaunt? Ominous. Your family was here. I know. She was my aunt. You knew? And didn't tell me. Ominous, the journal mentions many challenges ahead. That's why I said this could be dangerous. Aunt Noctua kept my father informed until she vanished. There may be something to this pile of rubble. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. formed a relief of a person facing a snake. Lumos. That must be the voice I hear. The voice is ancient. You hear a voice? It started when you repaired that relief. I hear a whisper saying, speak. I'm a parcel mouth. I can hear and speak to snakes. Nearly all known parcel mouths are descended from Salazar Slytherin. I'd like to be able to talk to snakes. You might not want the ability to speak past the tongue. It's often associated with dark wizards. I haven't spoken it in ages, but I'd wager if I speak it now, the door will open. I'm hoping you're having second thoughts. 
I see no reason we should stop now. It's ironic. When I left home, I vowed to leave the Dark Arts behind, and yet here I am. Stand back. I can't believe I'm doing this. It worked! Ominous, you possess a rare ability indeed. Between the two of you, I'm starting to feel left out. Between the two of us? I... Never mind. Avelia. Lumos. There's no clear way forward. Like a maze. Salazar Slytherin most likely wanted this to be difficult to solve. The door we came from, it closed. And there's more than one gate ahead. Then look closely at each gate for clues. Dial requires focus. Art Noctua said the same. It may take practice to solve it. Didn't sound good. Salazar Slytherin didn't make this easy. Lumos. the symbols did open it. I was about to do that myself, but you got to it first. <clears throat> nice work. Rebellion. Lumos. <sighs> Ominous, your aunt wanted to change your family's traditions. She did. And she was my favorite person in the world for it. Well, the dial seems to be getting more difficult, but we've made it this far. Don't give up. Ravenia. Lumos. Excellent work. We're another step closer to the scriptorium. Lumos. This journal entry, it mentions getting lost and being unwelcome. Confringo! Oh, Another gate. Seems Slytherin like to play games. Must run in the family. Look in a mirror, Sebastian. That sounded promising. Another dial solved. 
Lumos. Impressive. Nice work. I spotted something ahead. Looks troubling. This whole place is troubling, but for my aunt's sake, we cannot stop now. Revelio. Lumos. I think we're locked in. Again. <sighs> then Salazar Slytherin is not yet finished with us. Ominous. A skeleton. And Noctua's last journal entry. She mentions being trapped here, blocked by an unforgivable curse. This is where she died. This is where we'll die. I shouldn't have listened to either of you. Ominous, I'm truly sorry about your aunt. But I know what to do. It's going to be difficult. You said you know what to do. Tortured faces on the door and Crucios etched into the stone. My guess is if we cast the Cruciatus curse, the door will open. That's why Noctua died. She had no one to cast the curse on. Ominous has the most experience with this. He should cast it. You seem to be in Ominous's favor. Will you ask him about this? He does seem a bit cross with you. I'll speak with him. Good. Work your magic, so to speak. Wish we had some liquid luck. All of this could have been avoided. Ominous, I hadn't imagined we'd end up trapped like this. Salazar Slytherin did. He's to blame for many unimaginable things. I overheard you and Sebastian, and I won't do it. The Cruciatus Curse is pure torture, I would know. Sebastian told me a little of what happened when you were young. Sounds as if you had no choice. <sighs> Should have known he would have told you. <sighs> and one always has a choice. I'm as guilty as the worst of my family. Unforgivable curses won't work unless you really mean them. I had to want to cause pain, and for that I shall never forgive myself. That spells the reason I have no family left. You and Sebastian will need to sort out another solution. If you cast Crucio, you will regret it forever. What do we do now? Ominous is not going to cast the Cruciatus Curse again. Ridiculous! As if dying in here is a better option than casting a damned spell. <sighs> it's up to us. I can teach you Crucio, or I can cast it on you. Wait, you didn't say you knew how to cast Crucio. Because I'm not sure I do. Ominous knows that, yet he's left us no choice. I don't yearn to follow in Noctua Gaunt's footsteps. I think I can cast this if I have to. I want to learn the curse, but I won't cast it on you. You need to cast it on me. I shan't forget this. Ready? I'm ready. Keep moving. 
We made it. We found Salazar Slytherin's scriptorium. Oh, I can't believe we're here. Sebastian, ominous. There's a book just here. You found something. You two go ahead. Let me know what's in it. I'll wander around a bit. May I have a look? What do you think? Looks like a spell book of some kind. This is incredible. A Hogwarts founder's possession. What an honor. Still can't believe Ominous never told me about his aunt and what she found. What will you do with Slytherin's spell book? What I do with every book. Read it. Having professors as parents ingrained that habit early on. But I can do that later. For now, I say we explore this room. It's breathtaking. I've been getting an uneasy feeling about this place. We shouldn't linger here. Let's find a way out. Revenia! I don't want to leave, but I owe you. Both of you. Without both of you, we'd never have made it this far. We were lucky. We could have died. We must swear never to do this again. See a way out. Best news I've heard all day. Ominous. About your aunt. Please, Sebastian. I meant what I said before. We swear, right now, never to engage in anything to do with dark magic again. Understood. I'm truly sorry about your aunt, Ominous. I suppose after all this, I am grateful to know what happened to her. Thank you. Off on another adventure, are we?